Welcome to this tutorial on predicting house prices using linear regression. In this video, we'll walk through the process of creating a regression model to accurately estimate the price of a house based on various features. We'll cover data acquisition, exploration, modeling, and visualization. Let's get started. To begin, we need to understand the various features that affect house prices. These include size, location, number of bedrooms, and the age of the house. For our example, we'll focus on the relationship between the size of the house in square feet and its price. First, we need a data set. Open VS Code or any text editor and create a CSV file. Make sure to remember the location where the file is saved. This file contains two columns, area for the size of the house in square feet, and a price for the price of the house in US dollars. Once we have our data, the next step is to analyze and clean it. To do this, open Jupyter Notebook. If you don't have Jupyter installed, you can refer to the video on how to set it up. The link is given in the video description. Open your terminal or command prompt and type Jupyter Notebook, then press Enter. Once Jupyter Notebook opens in your web browser, navigate to the desired location where you want to create the notebook. Click on a new in the top right corner and select Python 3 to create a new notebook. To load and inspect our data, we'll use Pandas, a powerful data manipulation library in Python. Start by importing the Pandas library. Next, we load our CSV file, home underscore prices dot CSV, using the read underscore CSV function from Pandas. This function reads the CSV file and turns it into a data frame. Now, df is our data frame that contains the data from the CSV file. We load our data into a Pandas data frame and display it. It's important to check for any inconsistencies or missing values. Now, let's visualize our data to understand the relationship between the area and the price of the house. Let's create a scatterplot to visualize the relationship between the area of houses and their prices. Import the matplotlib.pyplot module. This library is essential for creating various types of plots and charts in Python. Set the labels for the x-axis and y-axis of our plot, respectively. In this case, area in square feet describes the values on the x-axis, representing the area of houses, and a price in US dollar describes the values on the y-axis, representing the corresponding prices. We can use the scatter function from matplotlib to create a scatter plot. It takes two main arguments, df.area represents the values for the x-axis and df.price represents the values for the y-axis. The color equals a red parameter sets the color of the markers to red, and marker equals a plus it specifies that the markers should be displayed as plus signs. By executing this code, we generate a scatter plot that visually shows how house prices vary with the area of houses. The red markers indicate individual data points, where each point represents a house's area and its corresponding price. This scatter plot shows a straight-line relationship between house area and price, so we'll use a linear regression model. Once our dataset is ready, we can train the model. Different models suit different problems, so we'll choose the best one based on accuracy. Linear regression is a model that describes the relationship between two variables with a straight line. The formula used is y equals mx plus b, where m is the slope and b is the y-intercept. Next, we'll use linear regression model to predict house prices based on the area. Import the linear model module from the sklearn library, which provides various linear models for regression tasks.
create an instance of the linear regression class called model reg. This object will help us build and train our linear regression model. We train our model using the fit method. We pass in our feature, the area of the houses, and the target variable, the price of the houses. The model learns the relationship between the area and the price during this training process. Finally, we use our trained model to predict the price of a house with an area of 3,300 square feet. The predict method takes a list of areas, in this case, a single value of 3,300, and returns the predicted price. Finally, let's visualize the regression line on our scatter plot to see how well it fits our data. We'll use matplotlib for this. This line sets the label for the x-axis of our plot to area in square feet. Set the label for the y-axis of our plot to price in US dollar. Create a scatter plot of our data points. We plot the area on the x-axis and the price on the y-axis. The points are red, and the marker used is a plus sign. Plot the regression line. We use the area as the x-axis values and the predicted prices from our model as the y-axis values. The line is colored blue. By executing this code, we create a plot that shows our data points in red and our regression line in blue. This visual representation helps us see how well our model fits the data and understand the relationship between the area and the price of houses. This concludes our tutorial on predicting house prices using linear regression. Thank you for watching.